Hey everybody. Yeah, it's Sunday afternoon, early evening, uh, halftime of the uh, Green Bay Giants game. Giants are up 20 to 20 to 10. Looks like it's going to be a good game. So I want to get a beer review out of the way, and then while this video is editing, I can get back and uh, watch the rest of the game. Um, I'm going to do another one of the Abita beers I picked up on the single bottle shelf. I'm going to do their their amber beer. This is apparently a lager. Uh, from the website it says Amber is a Munich style lager brewed with crystal malt and pearl hops. It has a smooth, malty, slightly caramel flavor and rich amber color. Abita Amber was the first beer offered by the brewery and continues to be our leading seller. Amber is Abita's most versatile beer for pairing with food. It has been voted best beer in numerous New Orleans reader polls and is frequently used and is used frequently in recipes of great Louisiana chefs. Because of its smooth, multi flavor, try it with smoked sausages, Louisiana boudin, or even ca caviar. It's great with crawfish and Cajun food. You also might enjoy it paired with spicy gumbo or tomato based pasta sauce. Yada, yada, yada. Names a bunch of other foods too. I just finished eating some ribs, had some, uh, had some broccoli and, or cauliflower and uh, baked potatoes. This comes in at 4.5% uh, ABV and 17 IBUs. Um, so let me get this in the glass. It's got a, it's got a, it's got an Abita cap, but it's got a slightly different one. So I'm going to try to save this one, add it to my collection. We'll get her in the glass and see what we have. Slow down on that. Well, I would, I, almost amber, I wouldn't call it amber, um, dark orange, almost amber, I guess you could call it an amber, um, seems to be a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up, uh, got about a finger of a real fluffy, looks like a, looks like a white head, so let's get a nose on this and see what we have. Not a real strong, not a real strong aroma. Um, definitely, like, there's a sweetness there, slight smokiness maybe. I'm getting a, a roasty, toasty caramel malt. Might be just a hint of some light hoppiness, maybe, maybe some citrus, some lemon. Not a, not a ton of, uh, not a ton of aroma here. So, let me give it a taste and see what we have here. Okay, we got a bready graininess uh, right up front. Tastes almost like a little corn, like corn husk almost. There is a little bit of that caramel sweetness. Hops, what there are, are barely detectable. Um, toasted flavors are, are, are more present in, in the uh, flavor than in the aroma. There's a slightly fruity quality here. I quite, can't quite place it. Um, there's almost a... Don't really get it on the nose, but there's almost a... I mean, it's a brown bottle, so it shouldn't be, but there's almost a... Almost a slight skunkiness to... to there's some somewhat of a somewhat off flavor here. I'm not sure. Not totally off-putting, but uh, just something not quite right. Very light-bodied beer. Um, like I said, medium carbonation. It's got a smooth, uh, really wet texture, though. So let me sit and uh, let this warm up a bit. Get what little bit there is left in the bottle in the glass. I'll be back after a while with a uh, final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. I've been watching the start of the second half of the the Giants Packers game. Um, I don't know. I'm not super excited about this beer. It's okay. Um, there's still that. It's not really skunkiness. I'm not sure what that is, but there's a slight. I'm getting it in the aroma. Definitely getting it in the taste. 
just a slight off taste to it. It's a, it's a, of course it's a lager, so I'm sure there, there's part of that is some of that graininess. I don't know how many adjuncts they use, and I don't really know what they use for malts and and hops in this, but uh, no, I guess I did do. Yeah, it says crystal malt and pearl hop, so maybe it's just that lager flavor that I'm you know just not super fond of. Um, I mean, it's a nice drinkable beer. I mean, this may make a great lawnmower beer at, you know, 4.5% ABV. It's not, there's nothing to it. Um, it's it's crisp, clean, you know, nicely brewed. It's just a, just an average lager. Well, maybe slightly above average. I mean, it's better than your Budweiser's and whatever, your, your BMC. So, I'm going to give it a slightly, 5 being average, I'm going to give it a slightly above average grade. I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. Um, a beta amber. Um, you might like it. If you see it, give it a try. You might like it better than I do. Um, I'm not real excited about it. I won't pick it up again. But uh, anyway, until next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer. Now back to the game.